are there some things that you think are your wife's sole responsibilities? I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And I was reading um, about on Reddit on Are You the Asshole about a way that a husband introduced his wife to his coworkers. He introduced her as Mrs. Last Name, the housekeeper. Needless to say, she was not very happy with that um, description or introduction, and she rightly made a response back to him that did not make him look good in front of his coworkers. Now, this guy literally open mouth, insert foot. But a lot of us have ideas about who is supposed to be doing what around the house. Now, maybe this came from your own upbringing about what your mom did versus what your dad did. Maybe it came from watching your friends or whatever. Or maybe it's just, you know, your outdated idea of who's responsible for what. And if the two of you agree, in other words, that I am going to do this and I'm happy to take on this chore and whatever, great, that's fantastic. I tell people, I happily do the weekly grocery shopping because I am extraordinarily picky about my produce. I don't want anybody, even my husband, picking out my produce. So I'm happy to do it. I don't get resentful because it's important to me. There are other things, as many, many years ago when my wife, when my husband would be pointing out all the other wives in the neighborhood who were mowing their lawns, um, and I looked at him and my response was, and your point would be, now, I didn't necessarily think it was his job as the man to mow the yard. I just, however, knew two people who had lost part of their feet in lawnmower accidents, and I didn't want any part of it. It's also the same reason why I don't grill. I do a lot of the cooking. I don't grill because I don't like cooking over open flame. So there are reasons why we have set things up in, in our relationship um, a certain way. But a lot of things just end up by default. One of my best friends, um, her mother was ne never never taught her how to cook and her husband is an excellent cook and but she thought because she was the wife it was her job to cook the meals. It, it, it just didn't work and they finally, you know, smart people, they decided this is not this is not the way we want it to be. But a lot of times what we do is I don't want to do this thing. So I'm going to outlast, I'm going to outweigh to my partner. My partner will do it because my partner will get tired of it. And I'm going to tell you, if that's going on in your household, you are sowing seeds of disaster, right? It, 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 you know, it never occurs to me or my husband not to do the kinds of things that need to be done. Now, I will, be, I, I will own up that he usually is the one who takes out the recycling and the trash mostly mostly because you know it's kind of determined that way i will take out the trash i will do these things and it's fine it's just kind of fall into him and you know he jokes about you know uh, recycling jenga because we just keep piling stuff into the recycling bin and you know if we had a different relationship that could really tick him off but you know when there's a dirty dish in the sink i don't worry about whose dirty dish it is i put it in the dishwasher if the dishwasher is clean, I empty it, and so does he. This is not something that's his work or my work. And, but a lot of couples do this, and it is at the heart, the heart of chore wars. People arguing about who's doing what. And by the way, you don't help around the house. You can't help around your own house any more than you can babysit your own children. It's your home and you have just as much responsibility as your partner to make sure that it is running smoothly. And I know people get into all kinds of arguments about this and there's actually a very, 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 very simple way to end the chore wars arguments forever. I actually have a mini course that will walk you step by step through this and everybody and I say everybody over the age of two who lives in your household has responsibility for keeping it running. And even some two-year-olds can help out. 
because it's everybody's responsibility. It's not one person's responsibility. If you want to have more one-on-one -on -one time with your wife, take, take the steps to make it happen. Make the dinner reservations, make the play reservations, make the hotel reservations, get the babysitter going. It's not her job. If she wants the same, then she needs to step up. This idea, you guys are a team, and it's not, I mean, yes, she has to have the babies. Sorry, physically, that's what, what has to happen. Physiologically, men can't have babies. But other than that, you can pretty much split out everything. Do what you are best at. Like with my friend, he was the better cook. So they've, they've flipped. He cooks most of the meals because he's better at it. He enjoys it. She does not. It doesn't have to be some structured, this is what men do, this is what women do. That's, that's crazy. Um, play to your strengths and be involved. And if you want to know more about that course that I was talking about, just put a comment down below that says, you know, chore wars and I'll, and, 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 and I will send it to you. It's, it, it's, it's not very expensive and it basically can eliminate any and all of those arguments that just keep coming up and create resentment. Um, if you have any other questions about your marriage, please feel free, send them, you can, you can DM them, you can put them in the chat below, or you can send them to Leslie at foundationscoachingnc.com. But everybody, you're on a team and everybody can help. The one thing I love about baseball, people who think baseball is boring do not understand baseball, is that at every at bat, the outfield, everyone in the outfield, has a job to do. It's not just left up to the pitcher or the catcher or the first baseman. Everybody has a role to play. Same thing is true in, in, in your household and in your marriage. So hopefully you found this helpful. And until next week, stay loving.